And now the Scott with a temper that's hot. It's Jock McBile with Get Stuck. What a summer it's been. Nostradamus said the world would end in the year 2000. 2001 in Newfoundland. <laughs> and it's leading to odd stories. The owner of a sex shop for women in Vancouver said her lowest sales week of the year was the week before the income tax deadline. <laughs> what does that tell us? People don't do it when the government is doing it to them. <laughs> a summer of major upheaval in the business world. You heard the saying, how do you start a small Canadian business? You start a big one and wait. <laughs> we had a 10-year business boom, yet during that time, the income of the average Canadian family in the real terms has gone down, yet we're voted the best country in the world in which to live. I'll tell you when I'll have to rethink that one. The day a packed Vancouver Island ferry appears off the coast of China and asks for asylum. <laughs> Can't you see the people? Don't send me back to Canada. They'll tax the ass off me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Canada Council gives 15,000 bucks to Winnipeg photographer Diana Thornycroft for her exhibit. Twelve rotting rabbit carcasses hanging up in a forest. <laughs> I was one of the other applicants for that grant. My idea, 37 human bodies hanging upside down, they get whipped every hour on the hour. <laughs> but do you think the federal cabinet will let us put the ropes around their ankles? <laughs> And talking about the cabinet, they okayed a $600 million scheme to provide information centers coast to coast. The civil servants who are going to run it say such programs are met with a certain degree of public cynicism. Oh, no bloody kidding. <laughs> Have you tried getting through to a federal office? Have you ever tried it? Memo to correct you and forget the $600 million. Just buy more bloody phones and put real people on the end of them. <laughs> Frankly, technology, science, medicine, they have all gone mad. Robert White, an expert neurosurgeon, now says he can transplant the human head. He even put a woman's head on a man's body or a man's head on a woman's body. Think of the confusion. How does a person like that know where to leave the toilet seat? <laughs> In Toronto, the police threaten that unless their demands were met, they'd organize a slowdown. <laughs> How will anybody be able to tell? <laughs> and frankly, a police car chase at 20 kilometers an hour just might not be a bad idea. Oh, yes. <laughs>